this session is for your white belts and the yellow belts only. Uh, obviously, if anyone else wants to take part, then that's fine. There's no belt slower than you, really. So, um, anyone that's welcome, come take part if you want to. But we're going to jump straight into it. Hands by sides, feet together, and bam. Heads all the way up. And down. To one side. And the other. Circles one way. And the other. Shoulders forwards. Arms forwards and backwards. From there, you put both arms in the middle. One arm's going to go up and one arm's going to go down. Just the coming back knee. So if I go from this way, from there, one goes up and one goes down. We come all the way around and we meet back in the middle again. Okay, back in the middle. Now we're going to go the other way, so the other arm goes up and the other arm goes down. Well done, shake your arms, hands on your hips, push forwards and backwards. To one side and the other side. Circles one way. Stand up, touch your toes. Arm back up. Touch your toes again. Arm back up. And have a sit down. Remember what I always say, no hands behind. Hands in front. Point those toes forwards. And backwards. Around in circles. to the middle, in your head, and see if you can touch your knee. I haven't stretched in ages, so I can't even do this long. And back up, and from there, the leg goes out. Oh, I've done the wrong way. So, the leg that was in nice and tight is going to come over, we grab, and we squeeze nice and tight. Swap leg so that one goes out, the other one comes in, and we go around to one side, and back to the middle, and around to the other side, and we come forwards, let's see if we can get our head down to touch our knee. Both legs in now. Actually, no, we missed one, didn't we? Let's see if you remembered. Then we come over and we pull it nice and tight. Well done. And bring both legs in. And shake those legs. Okay. Now we're going to rock from one side to the other. And 
shake those knees. See, may your head down to touch your toes. Hand back up, shake your knees. Shake. Well done, and from there you're going to come up onto your knees. Come this way so you can see. Turn around and turn. Now we go down. Come up, come on, down onto those toes. Hands on the floor, I'm going to rock back and stand up so it's without putting any down on the floor. I'm going to go back down again. If you're ready, so toes have to be at the back and give them another go. And from there, we rock back and stand up. Ooh, ooh. close. Well done, shake your legs. Put your hands by your sides, feet together. Bow. Go and get a quick drink and straight back. Okay, welcome back. Hands on your sides, feet together. Bow. Okay, so from that, you're bowing. It's the one basic thing that we definitely need to go over. So the rules of bowing, hands by your sides, feet together. So we always do that. So when we say feet together, it's not feet together, your feet have to be touching. Okay? Nice and close together. Hands by the sides, nice and close. So it's not just there, touching your sides, okay? And when we bow, it's not. Okay? It's nice and slow. Down and back up. Look where my eyes are looking. Do my eyes look down at the floor? Or do my eyes look forwards? They look forwards. We should never, ever, ever take our eyes off what's in front of us. Okay? So when does it come down? It bends forwards and I come back up again. Okay. New lesson for you. Now I don't know if you need area should look familiar. It's the door that you walk in from. Okay, so you'll start your lessons and you walk in through the door. Okay, so you walked in. So imagine this is before your lessons even started now. And you have your shoes and everything, but take your shoes off along here because we never stand on the mats with shoes on. Why don't we go on the mats with our shoes? Okay, because we don't want to get them dirty. Your shoes have been outside, they've been on. So, uh, tarmac, they may have been on grass or anything like that. We don't want to bring that dirt in and be, obviously, we roll around sometimes, we're on the floor, we, we, there's germs on the bottom of our shoes, we're walking around on the shoes and then we're rolling around on the floor. Don't want to get germs, don't want to get ill, do we? So we take our shoes off, but socks are okay. Um, but then we come to this point of the mat, and some of us just walk on and go, okay? Now, if you see before I did, I bow. So we should always bow before we go on the mats and before we go off the mats. Okay? Now look which way I'm bowing. I'm bowing towards the mats. When I come onto the mat, so I first step on, I bow, and then I can do whatever I want, as long as you bow first. Okay? Now when you come off the mat, so for a drink, I'm coming from this direction. I don't bow off the mat, because I don't bow to the door. Okay? Because the door's not teaching you karate, is it? The door's not, not doing anything. So when I come off the mat, I bow this way as well. Then I can turn around. And do whatever I need. Okay? You'll always see the instructors do this. The instructors will always bow before they come on the mats, before they go off the mats. Okay? It's very important to learn. So when I come on, I bow, then I can do whatever I need to do. And then when I come off, I turn around, I bow, looking at my head, always looking forwards, don't look down. And I can turn around, come off the mats, and do whatever I need to do. Okay? So that's just that little lesson for you. So from now on, when we go back to lessons, I want to see if anyone's remembered this. I want to see if anyone's learned this. Okay? Now here's another one for us, which is when we're down on our knees. Okay? 
okay? Because sometimes we don't always work standing up, do we? We work on our knees. So when we do play fighting or anything like that, we do it from our knees, okay? Now there's a, pardon me, there's a different way to bow when we're on our knees. Some of you have already taught it, because I know I've gone through it with some of you. Some of you may not have. But from there, when we're on our knees, we bow a little bit differently. So we take both hands and we make them into a triangle. Then we put the triangle on the floor in front of us. Then we take our forehead until we touch the tip of the triangle, so it's the bit at the top, up there. The top of the triangle, but from there, forehead goes down, so we touch the chin. And we count to five. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant, five elephant. Then we can come up, and that is how we bow. So from there, we make a triangle, we place it on the floor, our head touches, and we count to five. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant, five elephant. Then our head comes up, and then we can do. So if we're starting an activity, you bow to your partner, come down there, you bow. If you've finished it and they've said you can go for a drink, don't always have to stand up, you can bow from on your knees. So it's from there, five seconds, and then up. Instructors, the higher your belt goes, they don't have to bow for as long. So I only have to bow for three seconds. Okay? So if they come up at three seconds, that doesn't mean you can come up. You have to count those extra two seconds longer and then you can come up. Okay? So, start of the lesson, we bow before we come on the mats. Whenever we go for a drink or anything, we bow before we come off and then we bow to come back on again. The end of the lesson, we bow. When we bow, our head is always up, we don't bend and our head comes down, heads up, hands by our sides and our feet are together. When we're on our knees, we make the triangle and place it on the floor. Our head goes down and we count to five. Then we can come up and then we can stand up if we need to. Okay? So I know it's a lot to take in, but it's very important. Okay? It's a lesson for you to learn. So hands by sides, feet together, bow, heads going forward. There we go. Left leg in front, this up. Let's jump straight into the lesson now, okay? So we go for a front punch now. Ready? To my count. Edge, 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 and back punch. Ready? Edge, 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 edge. Change legs. So the other leg in front now. Okay? Front punch. Get ready. Edge. 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 Back punch. Get ready. Edge. 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 Edge, change, and leg in front. Okay, we can go for a big back knee, then a big back punch. Okay, so one comes up to the belt height, comes back down, big back punch comes forward. You ready? Edge, 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 edge. Edge, 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 edge. Well done, I changed legs. Get ready. Edge, 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 edge. And change legs. So it's the other leg in front now. So we go for a back knee, back punch, front snap kick, front punch. So it's four moves now. So we've got one, two, three, and four. We're we'll taking it nice and slow. Edge, one, two, three, four. Well done. Edge. 
edge. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Well done. They've speeded up a little bit now. Edge. Again. One, two, three, four. Well done, just testing you. And swap legs. So I'll go for it nice and slow again. This time I will get it right. Ready? One, two, three, four. That's better. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Well done, get ready. Edge. 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 Well done, and change. Shake those arms, shake those legs. Okay, so we're going to build on to it. So usually we do nice small, so only four moves. We're going to build up. We're going to do six moves now. So, we've got one, two, three, four. Then from there, with that back elbow, we're going to step forwards and come up. Five. And then we're going to come down for six. So a big elbow now, big hammer fist. Okay? Make sure you've got enough space around you. Remember, you're moving forwards and back now. So make sure no one's going to walk behind you. And make sure nothing's going to come in front of you. Okay? So, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Nice and high, comes up all the way up, gotta go past that head. Five, and six. Look, that hand fist landing in front of that nose. It's not coming down there, it's not stopping up there. In front of that nose. And we come back again. One, two, three, four, five. Six and back again. Well done. A little bit quicker. Edge. Well done. Edge. Well done. Edge. Start first, just to make sure you know how to do it, and then we'll do it. Well, I need to make sure I know how to do it first. I got it wrong twice so far. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and straight back again. Well done. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Ready? Edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, and back. Edge. Well done, I'll straight back. 
shake the legs, shake the arms, left leg in front, fist up. Okay, so next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then step back again. Okay, so we're taking it a little bit further now, so with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step back. Well done, one last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step back. Ready? To the count. Itch. Itch. Oh, got it wrong. There we go. Well done. And change legs. Let's see if we can get it right this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, step back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven, eight, and back. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, birthday. Get ready. Itch. Itch. Perfect, well done. Time for a side to be together. Bam. Go and get a quick drink and then straight back. Okay, welcome back. Time for a side to be together. Bam. Okay, so the weekly challenge for this week. The weekly challenge for this week is going to be squats, okay? So, I'll go through maybe one more time and I'll say exactly what the challenge is. So, squats. From there, the legs go in a straight line, shoulder width apart. So, from there, you go from your shoulders all the way down, that's where they'll be. The toes aren't out there, toes aren't in there, toes are pointing forwards, okay? With a slight bend in them. Now, there's two, well, your hands can go a different way. So you can have them on your head if you want, but if you do your squats with your hands on your head, don't pull your head forwards. Pull back, okay? They can go on your ears, but don't pull your ears off. Oh, that would be horrible. Keep your ear um, just nice and loose there. 
or they can go out in front. Okay? From there, they come down and up. Down and up. So we go down so we're making a nice L set. So we come down so our bum is in a nice L and we come back up again. From there, we can have our hands on our head or our hands on our ears, but that's it. We come down and we come up. Down and we come up. Okay, your weekly challenge is to do 10 squats a day. So 10 squats every single day for seven days. Yeah? Now you'll be able to see at the end of it that your squats are getting a lot better. Okay? So from there, it's down, hands on our heads, on our ears. We come down and we come up. Okay, that's it for this session. Very impressed. Have my sides feet together.